What is going on people of the Smart House Society? Matt here from mksmarthouse.com and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I control my smart home from my new iPhone XS Max. So the way I control my smart home from my iPhone XS Max is a mixture of three different things. I can either use the Home app, which uses HomeKit, Siri, which also uses HomeKit, or OpenHab, which connects directly to the OpenHab server. This can also be done through Home Assistant, and I'll have guides on it in the future, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna be focusing on OpenHab. Speaking of guides in the future, we're also gonna be focusing on the cameras. So, oh, check it out. My cousin just pulled up in his car. Let's go ahead and open the garage door for him. We're going to open up the HomeKit app here, and then we're just going to set the garage door to open. And if you look outside the window, the garage door is opening. All right, well, since my cousin is here, let's go ahead and set my room to a chill zone. So the first thing we're going to do is close the blinds. Then we are going to turn on the LED strip behind my desk. You know what, I'm feeling an effect. Let's choose from one of the different effects. Let's do a nice fade effect. Let it fade through the colors. You know what, that's a little bit too fast. Let's slow it down a little bit. All right, well, to see the LED strip better, let's also turn off the lights. And you know what, we're gonna be focusing on his computer that he brought, because he has a monster of a gaming computer. So we're not gonna need mine. So let's go ahead and open the home app and turn off my computer setup. Boom. All the devices you just saw are running custom PCBs. And recently I've been getting my PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay has been in business for a long time and is a full feature custom PCB prototype service that makes high quality PCBs. They also do SMD stencil and PCB assembly, which other PCB companies do not offer. PCBWay has the best value, fast turnarounds, on-time worldwide shipping, and low minimums. Speaking of low minimums, you can get 10 PCBs for $5. The link to PCBUA will be at the top of the description. Oh, I guess my cousin's here. I just got the notification on my phone. It says side door open. And then I don't know, you may have heard, but my Lemetric clock over there also went off and it said side door open. I'll be showing you guys a video on that in the future. Now also next to the Lemetric clock, we also have this three in one dock. So I can have my AirPods, my uh, Apple Watch, and also my iPhone XS Max fits in there perfectly. But let's go ahead and say hi to my cousin. And a little bit more in detail on the side door. Here we have all the different statuses and if I open it, you heard the little metric clock and it says open right here. But let's go say hi. Oh, it looks that my sister left her light on. Let's go ahead and close the blinds. And then I'm also gonna take this opportunity to show you guys Siri. Hey Siri, turn off JK light. Turn off the light. Let's keep going. Oh, check it out. My sister's watching one of my smart home videos. You know, I appreciate that she watches them, but she's watching them a little bit loud. Let's go ahead and turn the volume to 50%. Hey, what's up, Jacob? I see you're wearing some Smart House Society clothing. Yeah, I got it from smarthousesociety.com. If you use the promo code ELITE, you can get 15% off. Link in the description. So, Matt, what's this? So, this is an Amazon Fire 7 mounted using a mount from luxmounts.com which will be available by the end of October. So if you put in your email at luxmounts.com, you'll be notified the second it's available. But Jacob, while I show them the rest of the Smart Home Tour, I'm going to play you a video, and so you can have some enjoyment. Okay. All right, so out here I have a couple things. So, oh, I see Jacob decided not to park in the garage door. Well, then let's go ahead and close the garage door since he decided not to park there. There's also one more thing that I want to show you out here. Hey Siri, turn on sprinkler zone one. Okay. If you look behind me, you'll see the sprinklers turn on. But it just rained, so we don't need that. Turn off sprinkler zone one. Okay. Zone one and they will turn off now. But let's go back inside and go to the basement. There's, I want to show you how this all works. All right, so if we look over here, we have my 3D printer. And you know what? I think Jacob's gonna want something 3D printed. So I am have the home app open right here and I'm just going to turn on the 3D printer. 
and this is running a Sonoff Dual. So over here we have what's been running everything we've been talking about today. We have the Raspberry Pi that has OpenHab on it. And as you can see, I don't really have a complex setup and yet I was able to accomplish such a big task. Now this was all done through OpenHab and in the future I'll be covering Home Assistant for those of you that love Home Assistant. Let's go back upstairs and finish up. All right, so there's one more device that I wanna show you guys and I think this is the overall most important device that I have in this entire smart home setup and that's up here. This is the fire detector. I created a device that taps into this fire detector. So whenever this fire detector goes off, I get a notification on the phone. Now I would demonstrate to you guys, but it's very loud and cause a big commotion. And also I have a lot of people connect to our smart home system. So they'd get a little bit freaked out if they get a notification that the fire detectors went off. But that concludes this video. So all of the devices I mentioned and their guides will be in the description in the order that they were featured in the video. All right, if you guys found this video helpful, then click that like button. And if you are a small enthusiast like me, then you belong on this channel, so hit that subscribe button. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or head over to mksmarthouse.com slash forum. Goodbye.